Welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making um, a rainbow soap. It's a, be a little bit different than the others I've made. Um, I hope you guys aren't sick of rainbow soaps, but um, they're very popular for me. And I'm going to be using a little bit different colors. I'm not doing neons or pastels or um, bright rainbow colors. I'm going to be using just a mix of six different shades. Um, and for example, instead of red, I'm doing kind of a bright pink. Uh, just a little bit different, but um, along the six, the line of the six colors. And I'm going to be scenting this with a blend. It's mostly rainbow sherbet. Um, it has a couple other fruit notes in it. So let's go ahead and add the lye solution. I am going to pipe on the top. I have a new tip I want to try. It is... I can't remember if it's tip Wilton 125 or 105. I'll let you know when I get to the piping part. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a layer of each color, like one on top of each other, and I am going to be swirling it, so I don't care if the layers are even, but I'm going to scoop it out like this, because if I pour it, I know, well, it'll break through the white, which really isn't a huge deal, but if I pour it, I tend to use more, and I really need to save enough for what I want to do for the piping. So I will probably go a little uh, forward, fast forward through this part.
back to pipe. Now, I showed you I had a side project I was working on. Well, I just poured some colors into another little mold, and I was going to use them for something else. But then I decided at the last minute that I didn't want to do that, so I scooped the soap in here, and so that's why the top looks kind of muddly like this. Hopefully when it's cut, it won't look bad. But in the meantime, I've been waiting to pipe um, this fragrance. Um, has stayed pretty loose for quite a while. I went ahead and put the blue and purple into a press and seal bag. I have the green and yellow in another bag, and then I have the pink and orange in another bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, I did that so I could change it out. I only have one of these tips. This is a Wilton 105 tip. Um, it's kind of, it kind of looks like a crown on the top. And I went and watched the Wilton video of different ways that you could use it. And I'm going to try to um, do kind of a braid type pattern on the top if I can. This still seems kind of fluid. So it may not go how I want it to. I'm going to try over here to do that. I'm not doing this right. Um, oh well, it doesn't matter. This is really fluid anyway. I'm going to probably end up doing something on top of that. Let's see.
welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and cut this soap. I haven't decided a name for it yet. Um, I've already cut it into logs, and here's the top and the side. I kind of wished I had more white. I kind of wanted the white to be even on the top and the bottom. And you can see all the cool piping on the top. I think it looks kind of cool. It was really like, I don't know, the piping didn't wasn't firm enough for me to do make it look how I wanted. Um, and my girls were in the living room waiting for me to come hang out with them and watch TV. And they're teenagers, they don't always do that, so I didn't want to wait any longer to pipe. I wanted to finish the soap. I love the swirl, it's so pretty. But I wanted to finish it so that I could go hang out with them. Um, so I will try, it was kind of like a, like a braid that I was going to try to do. But it definitely needed to be set up more. So I just went ahead and swirled it on. So it's kind of cool. You can see all six colors in the top and in the soap. And it smells really nice. It's pretty, um, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see some of the swirl or some of the sparkle in some of the micas in there. The project that I was going to do, I was pouring a little bit of each of the colors into like a slab mold, just a very thin layer, and I swirled it. And I was going to cut little embeds out of it for another soap, but once I did that, I realized how, even using the small amount that I did, how it uh, made this soap so much shorter in the mold. So I didn't want, you know, the bars to be too short. So I had to kind of rethink it. And you can see right here is where I put all of the colors. So it looks a little muddy right there, but um, I still like it. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.